The degree is authorized by the trustees and the chancellor of the State University of New York, and the council and the faculty of the University of Buffalo will now be conferred. I would ask again to please hold your applause until all the candidates have received their respective degrees. The candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Pharmaceutical Sciences will now be presented. Will the candidates please rise? The degree was first awarded in 1970. It is awarded following completion of a four-year program with a major in pharmaceutics. Dr. Dunn, on behalf of the faculty of the School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences, I have the honor to present to these candidates. They have met all of the requirements of the university and are recommended to you by the faculty for the degree Bachelor of Science in Pharmaceutical Sciences. By the authority of the trustees and the chancellor of the State University of New York and the council and faculty <clears throat> of the University of Buffalo, I now confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Science in Pharmaceutical Sciences with all of the rights and privileges thereto pertaining. In testimony thereof, diplomas bearing the seal of the university shall be presented to you. Congratulations. The graduates will now come forward and receive a certificate of recognition at this occasion. You may move your tassels. Pharmaceutical Sciences graduates will be announced by Dr. Kathleen Boje, Director of the Undergraduate Studies in the Department of Pharmaceutical Sciences. Dr. Boje. The Pharmaceutical Sciences program seeks to prepare students for science and research-based careers. The pharmaceutical sciences are a unique interdisciplinary field of study that encompasses many basic and clinical science disciplines in the health sciences. The program emphasizes the study of pharmaceutics, which seeks to achieve a better understanding and control of the factors influencing human clinical response to drug therapy. Emphasis is given to the application of pharmacokinetics and physical chemical principles to questions of pharmacological and clinical importance. It is my pleasure to present the following candidates for the Bachelor's of Science degree in Pharmaceutical Sciences. Ao Equinande. Ao hails from Nigeria, but is currently from Staten Island, New York, as you might have, and as you might have guessed, Ao is an avid New York Yankees fan. He did his research with Dr. Ballou on liposomal factor VIII for blood disorders. His future plan is to attend Massachusetts College of Pharmacy next fall. Denise Bentley. Denise is always wearing her smile. She is a gymnastics coach for a children's class and secretary of the pharmaceutical sciences majors. Denise's research was on uh, to, to study of how a person's genes influence the response to certain types of chemotherapy drugs. Denise's future plans include attending pharmacy school at Belmont University in Nashville, Tennessee. Patrick McKenna Glassman. Patrick was president and treasurer of the UB Cross Country and Track Club. Patrick did his research under the mentorship of Dr. Joseph Balthazar. Patrick graduates with program honors with distinction, which requires an in-depth, intensive research project followed by a critical review by three faculty members. His future plans are to pursue a PhD in pharmaceutical sciences here at UB. Laura Rodecki. Laura is a 2001 recipient of the prestigious SUNY Chancellor's Award for Student Excellence. She's our first student. This award honors State University of New York students who have best demonstrated their integration of academic excellence with other aspects of their lives, including leadership, athletics, career achievement, and community service. Laura was a resident advisor, academic assistant, community resident in the university apartments and residence halls. She's captain of the UB equestrian team and a climb up research intern at the UB Department of Pharmacology. She also has extensive volunteer work and recognition. This fall, Laura will be attending the University of Michigan for a PhD in pharmaceutical sciences. Catherine Sloda. Catherine was a member of Alpha Kappa Psi professional business fraternity and she was manager of the UB student recycle team. She did her research under the mentorship of Dr. Joseph Balthasar. This fall, Catherine will be attending the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill for a PhD in Pharmaceutical Outcomes and Policy. Hao Sun. Hao has been on the Dean's List for several semesters and he is a University Honors Scholar. He did his research under the guidance of Drs. Dubois and Jusco. His future plans include going to graduate school for Pharmaceutical Sciences. 
Congratulations. That concludes the graduates with the degree Bachelor of Science in Pharmaceutical Sciences. The candidates for the degree Master of Science in Pharmaceutical Sciences will now be presented. Will the candidates please stand? The Master of Science degree is awarded for graduate study of one to two years, including a thesis based on an original research project in pharmaceutical sciences. Dr. Dunn, on behalf of the faculty of the School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences, I have the honor to present these candidates. They have met all the requirements of the university and are recommended to you by the faculty for the degree Master of Science in Pharmaceutical Sciences. Dean Anderson, ladies and gentlemen, by the authority of the trustees and the chancellor of the State University of New York, and the Council and the Faculty at the University of Buffalo. I now confer upon you the degree Master of Science in Pharmaceutical Sciences with all of the rights and privileges thereto pertaining. In testimony thereof, diplomas bearing the seal of the university shall be presented to you. In completing the requirements for this degree, you have demonstrated <coughs> your capacity for advanced intellectual work. By conferring this degree upon you, the university recognizes the quality of your achievements. Congratulations. The graduates will now come forward to be hooded and receive a certificate of recognition at this time. Please move your tassels. The graduates will be announced by Dr. Kathleen Boje and will be hooded by Dr. William Jusko and the graduates advisor. It is my pleasure to present the following candidates for the master's degree in pharmaceutical sciences. Moody Kulshrestha. Moody was senator in the Pharmaceutical Sciences Graduate Student Association. He did his research under the direction of Dr. Don Major. His project title was Mathematical Modeling of Platelet Dynamics in Neonates. V.D. Modi. V.D. received her B.S. degree in pharmacy at the University of Mumbai in India where she received several honors and awards for excellence in academics. She continued her career path here at UB. She has a publication on intravascular stents where she is first, first author. She plans to have a career in the pharmaceutical biotechnology industry. Sharvi Nanavoti. Sharvi's research was in development of more effective anti-cancer drugs. She will be joining Novartis Pharmaceuticals for a summer internship in the Drug Metabolism Pharmacokinetics Department and returning to UB in the fall to begin her PhD program in pharmaceutical sciences. Hao Wang. Hao received his BS degree at the Nanjing University of Technology in China. He did his research under the guidance of Dr. Jun Q at the Center of Excellence. Howe's research was focused on the pharmaceutical analysis using LCMS techniques. This summer, Howe will join Agilent Technology as a field service engineer. Congratulations. That concludes the uh, graduates with the degree Master of Science in Pharmaceutical Sciences. The candidates for the degree of Pharmacy will now be presented. Will all the candidates please stand? The Doctor of Pharmacy degree has a strong, strong academic base which is aimed at developing an in-depth understanding of the factors involved in making rational drug therapy decisions. The rotation experience builds on this academic base, providing a wide range of exposure to various clinical pharmacy practice environments and medical subspecialty areas. Formal teaching opportunities and clinical research experiences are components of the program. 
Graduates of the Doctor of Pharmacy program practice in a wide variety of clinical pharmacy positions in university, hospital, community, and industrial settings throughout the United States, Canada, Europe, and Africa. Dr. Dunn, on behalf of the faculty of the School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences, I have the honor to present these candidates. They have met all the requirements of the university and are recommended to you by the faculty for the degree Doctor of Pharmacy. By the authority of the trustees and the chancellor of the State University of New York and the council and the faculty of the University of Buffalo, I now confer upon each of you the degree Doctor of Pharmacy with all of the rights and privileges thereto pertaining. In testimony thereof, diplomas bearing the seal of the university shall be presented to you. In awarding this highest professional degree to you, the University of Buffalo publicly attests to the value of your academic accomplishments and scholarship and proclaims its confidence in your ability to make still further contributions to the sum of human knowledge. Congratulations. The graduates will, be, will come forward to be hooded and receive a certificate of recognition on this occasion. Please move your tassels. The graduates will be hooded by Dr. Edward Benarchik, Chairman of the Department of Pharmacy Practice, and Dr. Jennifer Hess, Assistant Dean for Admissions. Front row to remain standing. Everyone else can be seated. Brian Thomas Badgley. Dr. Badgley was a very active uh, PharmD candidate in our school. He received the United States Public Health Service Excellence and Public Health Pharmacy Practice Award due mainly to his work in community pharmaceutical take-back programs. During the three years he did this, he was able to take back 12 tons of pharmaceutical drugs, household pharmaceutical drugs, and control substances worth over a half a million dollars in Western New York alone. His future plans would be to have an uh, initial pharmacy practice residency in critical care at the Detroit Medical Center, Detroit Receiving Hospital. Please remain standing. Thank you, sir. He almost got it right. Kate Fifield. Dr. Fifield is a member of the American Pharmacists Association Academy of Students of Pharmacy, a member of the Rokai National Honor Society. She received the 2009 Robert Gumtow Scholarship Award. She worked as a pharmacy intern at Walgreens, and her future plans is she's accepted a pharmacist position at the Lord's Hospital in Binghamton, New York. Congratulations, Dr. Fifield. Gori Rao. Dr. Rao was a very active uh, PharmD candidate of ours. She was president of the UB chapter of the American Pharmacist Association Academy of Students of Pharmacy. Uh, she's won several scholarships. She was in the who's who among students at American University and colleges. She was a pharmacy intern at the Millard Fillmore Gates Circle Hospital. She will join the UB Novartis Research Fellowship in Pharmacometrics and Infectious Disease. And her research title was the pharmacodynamics of colistin and simulated pharmacokinetics of patients with kidney or liver disease against Pseudomonas aeruginosa under the direction of Dr. Brian Suji. Congratulations, Dr. Rao. Polkit Bhutani. Dr. Bhutani was a member of the Rokai National Honor Society, the Kappa Psi Professional Pharmaceutical Fraternity. He was on the dean's list every semester while he was here. He worked as a, a pharmacy intern at Walmart Pharmacy and he's accepted a first-year pharmacy residency training program at the William Beaumont Hospital in Royal Oak, Michigan. Congratulations, Dr. Bhutani. David Jacobs. Dr. Jacobs was a member of the Western New York Society of Health Systems Pharmacists, a dean's student ambassador, a member of the Phi Delta Chi Pharmaceutical Fraternity. He worked as an intern at Wegmans Pharmacy, and he's accepted a first-year pharmacy residency at the University of Toledo Pharmacy, Pharmacy Residency Program. Congratulations, Dr. Jacobs. <laughs> Ashley Smith. Dr. Smith was also a Dean Student Ambassador, a member of the Phi Delta Chi Professional Pharmacy, uh, uh, professional pharmacy Fraternity. She did her internship at Walmart Pharmacy, and she's accepted a first year residency at the University at Buffalo Community Practice Residency Program at Middleport Family Health Center in Middleport, New York. Congratulations, Dr. Smith. Carolyn Hempel. 
A very active student, uh, Carolyn was class, pre class treasurer for all four years she was here, a member of the American, American Society of Health Systems Pharmacists, American Pharmacists Association. She worked as an intern at Erie County Medical Center and CVS Pharmacy, and she's accepted a first year residency program at the University of Kentucky Healthcare. Congratulations, Dr. Hempel. Amy Telez, another very active student. Dr. Telez was a member of the American Society of Consultant Pharmacists, where she served as vice president and president of the Student Association, the Rokai National Honor Society. She worked as a pharmacy intern at both Target and Erie County Medical Center, and she's accepted a first year pharmacy residency at the VA Western New York Healthcare System. Congratulations, Dr. Telez. Christina Marchese. Dr. Marchese, another active student, was a member of the New York State Council of Health Systems Pharmacists, the Western New York Society of Health Systems Pharmacists. She worked as a pharmacy intern for the Catholic Health System at St. Joseph Hospital in Chittawaga, New York. And she has accepted an inpatient pharmacy practice residency with the University at Buffalo in, at Erie County Medical Center in July. Congratulations, Dr. Marchese. Dr. Zeitler, Kristen Zeitler. Dr. Zeitler was a member of the American Pharmacist Academy of Students Pharmacy. She's held several positions in the National uh, American Pharmacist Association. She's won several awards, several scholarships, too many to, to talk about here. She was an intern at the Buffalo Pharmacy's Institutional Pharmacy Intern, and she's accepted a first year pharmacy practice residency at the hospital at the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Congratulations, Dr. Zeitler. Samuel Lawrence Aiken. Dr. Aiken is a member of the American College of Clinical Pharmacy Certification Affairs Committee, president of the School, School of the Student Association, president of his class, vice president of the Western New York Society Health Systems Pharmacist Student uh, Organization. He worked as an intern for both the Buffalo General Hospital and CVS Pharmacy, and he's accepted a first year pharmacy residency at the Yale University Medical Center. His research was the equality and inequality of inpatient outcomes, inpatient outcomes for major infectious diseases in the United States under the direction of Dr. Bra Jack Brown and Dr. Fred Doloreso. Congratulations, Dr. Aiken. First row may sit down.